Hey guys, one here. What you're seeing on the screen is a table made out of some Pokemon data. It's really not that important what that is. But today I wanted to share what in my opinion is one of the most broken Power BI hacks out there. And that involves a problem that I'm sure almost everybody has had something to do with. And that is, you know how in Excel it is super simple to evenly, you know, organize tables where you can say, please make sure that every column is approximately this size. Well, what if I tell you that in Power BI, this is not possible, or at least not possible out of the box. What I'm going to show you is a very stupid or very, I don't know, hacky hack to solve this. What we're going to do involves aliases and this little setting right here, which uh, here in the column headers, that auto size columns width. What I do for this is, of course, take some sort of uh, screen cap to remember the order of the table. And I'm not going to say that this is a practical hack in any way, but we're going to alias every possible field using, well, let's say maybe legendary. Legendary is the longest word out here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste the word legendary in every single column. Uh, I think I missed one of them. If I'm not, yeah, I missed one of them. Now, all of them are called legendary. And because I have this option activated to automatically resize, oh, you can see they all have the same, the same width. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go once again to column headers untick this option but by now the damage is done now they're evenly spaced considering that they, they have the name legendary and now what i do is i just rename them once again so name uh this one used to be if i hope i'm correct hp and this one used to be attack Later on, you can decide if, if you want to center these things. You, you probably should. It would look much better. But yeah, this is the hack. Uh, if I think that this is a practical hack or one that you should feel proud of, maybe not. But if this helped you in any way, then this video was definitely worth it. Happy to share some more uh, broken hacks, which in my opinion, shouldn't exist. And I'll be more than happy if in some months from now, Power BI makes this video completely obsolete. In the meantime, thanks for watching.